Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, guys. Celtic Warband here, and thanks for tuning in to another How to Install video. In today's video, I will be covering how to install the latest version of the Terra Redux mod for Medieval 2 Total War. Now, if you haven't heard of this mod before, it is a Fantasy War mod, which is waged across multiple continents and involves a bunch of factions that you wouldn't expect to see on the same map. We've got some Roman factions, Orcs, Pirates, some Pike and Shot factions, Samurai, Vikings, Monsters, and so much more. So if this mod sounds interesting and you'd like to give it a try, all you have to do is follow along with the video. So let's go ahead and get this mod installed. So I'm just going to back out and go to moddb.com here. And in the top search tab, I'm just going to start typing in Thera Redux, and it should be the first one to pop up. And then we're going to navigate over to the Files tab and click the full release version 3, which only came out about a couple months ago. And just click on that and hit Download Now. Make sure we can mute this here. If it does come up with a very loud ad, make sure to keep this ad up, though, until it begins to download, and then you can go ahead and close it. And it is quite a big packed file. You can see it's 3.3 gigabytes, so it will take a little bit of time. So go ahead and pause the video here, because I'm going to make a cut and then bring it back once it is done downloading. All right, guys, and once that is completed, we can go ahead and close ModDB. We won't need it anymore. And we're going to open two different file explorers. One, we're going to navigate over to our downloads folder where we can see the Thera, or Thera. I don't know how to pronounce it. I think it's Thera Redux, if I'm not mistaken. But you can see if I select it, we had 3.34 gigabytes. So that is almost spot on. So we're, uh, take a note of the file size on moddb.com. And if it's not even close to this, like if it's a little bit more, a little bit less, like I believe the actual file size was 3.33 gigabytes. So if it's 3.32, it's probably fine. But if this is like 2.8, uh, you need to delete that and re-download it because you're missing a lot of uh, files uh, when you were downloading it. So po probably you had an internet interruption or something of that nature, or maybe your firewall uh, blocked some of the uh, downloaded files. But you're going to have to delete that and retry. And now on this side, I want to navigate over to my Medieval 2 folder, or my mods folder actually, in Medieval 2 Total War. And for most people, it is going to be on their C drive. I will have a little annotation in the bottom of the screen with the correct pathway for you. But uh, for C drive users, it's most likely going to be Program Files 86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Medieval 2, and then Mods. But uh, for me, it's going to be on my G drive. So I'm going to go G, Steam Games, Steam Apps, Common, down to Medieval 2, and to Mods. And then I, I'm going to scroll down because once I move this over, I want to actually visually see it going into the correct folder. I find a lot of people have some issues in their installation process when they are uh, extracting this to the mods folder and they don't visually see it go in. So then they don't know uh, if it is in the correct folder. So that's why I always have this open. So uh, here, let's go ahead and double click. Of course, this is a packed file, so you're going to need uh, WinRare, WinZip, or 7-Zip, or some other kind of extraction software to open this. Uh, and once you do, just go ahead and hit Extract To. And this is where, again, we're going to uh, navigate to our Medieval 2. So for most people, it will be Local C, Program Files 86, uh, Steam, there it is, uh, Steam Apps, Common, and then you should have your uh, Medieval 2 over here. Again, for non-Steam users, it's going to be uh, Program Files 86 Sega and then Medieval 2 mods. But for me, I'm just going to navigate through my G drive because my C drive is quite small. Click on mods and then hit OK. And then you should see the Thera Redux popping up. That's why I want this open. This is one of the most common errors when installing a mod is that it doesn't drop into the correct folder or if you uh, double up the mods folder you'll see actually a little mods folder being created and that inside the mods folder so it's like mod folder inception almost <laughs> but that will not work it needs to be right here with all your other mods so I'm going to make another little quick cut because this is quite a large mod and uh, you guys can pause the video and pick it up once yours is done extracting Just about finished now with the extraction process. 
and there we go. So now we can go ahead and close these two. We don't need them anymore, but keep this window open because we're not done with the install yet. There's a couple more steps that we need to go through. And what I want you guys to do is to step back into your actual Medieval 2 folder and scroll down and make sure that you have both of these little EXEs. If you only have the Medieval 2 one and you do not have this Kingdoms one, I will leave a... Uh, I'll leave a link to a video in the description with a fix on how to get this so go ahead and grab that video first because you're going to need both the kingdoms exe and the medieval 2 exe before you move on so let's step back forwards into mods and then go to the Terra redex mod and then we need to open the four gigabyte ram double click on that and then we need to open the four gigabyte patch exe so double click on that and then scroll down until you see your Medieval 2 EXE, click it and hit open. And then this should pop up saying it was successfully patched, hit, uh, hit another file. And then scroll down and then do the same to your Kingdoms EXE. And it should say executable successfully patched and hit OK. And then we've got one more step, we need to launch this large address aware EXE. And then we need to select our executable, so click here, and it should be in the uh, Medieval 2 folder already, so click Medieval 2 EXE, open. And then if this is unchecked, make sure to check this, it needs to be checked. This basically allows the game to use more than 2 gigabytes of RAM, and uh, it will cut down on a lot of crashes, especially during battles. So hit save on that, and then click it again, and go down to the Kingdoms EXE, open and make sure that is checked again and hit save. And then you're all done. That is all we need to do. So now we can actually launch this mod. So I'm going to uh, make a quick cut here because I have to go into the mod itself and uh, deactivate the awesome soundtrack that this mod has because I'm pretty sure it is copyright, but I'll see you guys inside the mod. All right, guys, welcome to the Terra Redux mod for Medieval 2 Total War, and we're going to go through the standard drill of launching into a grand campaign. We'll do a couple of end turns and launch into a battle as well, just to prove that everything is working. Well, this is what I was talking about. We've got a lot of different factions here. You can see we've got the Romans, who we're going to be jumping in as, but uh, we had, like, I believe, yes, yeah, some Rooks, so, like, so a little bit of Third Age action going on. Uh, we had... Uh, some other interesting factions as well here. Uh, where was the other interesting factions? Here we go. Yeah, these guys, like Kalula Serpent Men, but it's almost like they're riding dinosaurs or lizards. So there's a lot of different factions, which is really cool to see. Look at this one here, the Sikorax Nation, but they've got They've got like mammoths that they're riding. Very, very cool. And this is the actual map as well. So it's almost like a bunch of islands that are put together. Uh, so it's almost like they've taken, like all these islands represent different mods. And then they've kind of just moved all of those factions together into one playable campaign. We've even got like some of the uh, East uh, Asian factions as well. Very, very cool. But yes, I'm just rambling on at this point. So uh, let's go ahead and jump in as the Empire of Romuli. There we go. I'm not going to take the time to read this because it's just a how to install. And here is our empire. So we've got five cities, it looks like, to start off with. So let's just go ahead and gather our forces together. I have played a bit of a test through here, so I do know where the quickest uh, battle position is. And it's over here. We've got some uh, minor nations that we can uh, deal with. And I think that they had a town somewhere close by here. But let's go ahead and just uh, do what we would normally do and build some things in all of our cities there. Very good. And let's get our priest up here to scout. Let's get a couple of units. They've got some really cool units here. Legionary Cesaris. Got some Hestati Auxilia. Some Equites. So we'll build a little force down there, just to, again, stress the engine. And up here we have our princess, who we can uh, send well. to do some diplomacy. 
We accept these Good, yeah, they accepted that. I don't know why our diplomat starts way over here, though. It's kind of funny. Oh, there we go. Let's talk to them. Barely accepted. And enter. Yeah, we've got the Kingdom of the Northmen there, which is very cool. And we got some various caliphates. Teutonic Union there. Oh, there was the Kingdom of the Rus, the Inquisition. But the minor factions are the ones we're going to be coming up against. So we're done pretty much with that. So we just need to force the battle because we didn't have that enter and crash. And here they are. I have no idea if we're going to be strong enough to take them on. But we are certainly going to try. It's not like we need to win the battle. We just need to uh, load in and show you guys that it does work. And this is why that 4 gigabyte patch is so important. Because the base game only uses 2 gigabytes of RAM, but a lot of these mods require more because um, uh, they're just a lot more in depth. But there we go. Looks like it is fine. Let's just go ahead and put the battle UI up so we can set up. Got uh, three generals here. One of them is actually an infantry general. We've got a ballista. Uh, we've got uh, actually a couple of equites here. Which I'll put there. And then we've Basically, we got like a solid line of heavy infantry. And there we go. And they're actually formed up way over here. Looks like they're not that interested in actually fighting us. Move them over there, move them over there. But yes, as you can see, everything is working. And some very nice unit models, I do have to say. Now, the modder did say that he did take some models from various other mods, like Third Age and uh, other mods. So if you do see some models that look very similar or identical, uh, that is fine. He's already given credit for it, so it's not like um, he has been uh, thieving them and uh, putting them forth as his own. He's uh, given full credit in the description of the mod. But that is everything, guys. So hopefully you do enjoy this mod. I might actually consider a playthrough in this as well. We'll have to see how it goes. But thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoy. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this in the future. And as always, I will see you in the next one.